Well, good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. Coming to you from a cold, snowy, 27 degrees Fahrenheit, Fairmont, West Virginia. There's nobody on the roads. And that's partly because this started off as freezing rain and then went to snow. So now we have several inches of snow on top of freezing rain, frozen ice. And I don't know if you're familiar with driving on ice, then you know what that's like. But uh, if you're not, don't be fooled. <laughs> Stay off the roads. There's no controlling ice. Unless you have a good set of ice skates on. There's no controlling it. I've been in four-wheel drives that started going sideways down a hill with no control. So it doesn't matter what you're driving or how you're driving it. If you have chains, that's one story. But uh, no, just regular tires. Anyway, the moral of this story is stay home. If you don't have to go out, don't. Stay home. And if I'm talking to you and you're in Florida or someplace warm, then... And that's all I have to say about that. Anyway. Talking here as I'm getting set up. Sorry I've been away. I've been sick. I'm feeling a bit better. I don't know what it is. I just have had no energy at all. And just not feeling good. Achy and... Sneezy and... Grumpy and bashful and dopey and dark. Yes, I was the seven dwarves. But inside us all, don't we have a little dwarf in us all? Now ponder on that while I pull your card. And you have, I'll, see, I never did ask, what do you all think of that video I put out last night, yesterday, on uh, dreams? I had a, a viewer had requested that several months ago, and she approached with with the question on what was the difference between the different types and i um i was like boy that's a good question and i went in and looked in on it and it got a little bit tough there for a while it was a little bit uh it was a lot more formal than what uh i would would have liked and it took me that long to figure out how I was going to do this video. To make it a little bit more me. Because I'm just not a formal type person. If you know me, you'll know I am not a formal person at all. Formalities. Are for the birds. 
anyway, um, I'm sorry, back to the card. It is um, a drum roll, please. No, I'm just teasing you all. I mean, it's Three of Swords. Kitty gave his opinion. And Kitty knows what he's talking about. Because sorry to say, the Three of Swords depicts a message of rejection, betrayal, hurt, and discouragement. In moments like these, we are well served by the mind. If you think logically about it and prepare for the experience, the impact of this pain may be minimalized. But remember, too, that pain and grief are a normal part of life because they make us appreciate what joy and happiness we have, as well as teaching us. It is through pain that we learn to avoid mistakes that could lead us into danger and grief. It is therefore a necessity in the, in the journey of life. The Three of Swords, therefore, is a depiction of suffering that is meant to make us stronger, more careful, and more vigilant. Sometimes life gives us no choice. We are knocked down. But what determines one's future is the choice of whether to remain knocked down or to get back up again. Each little piece of suffering you encounter serves as a stepping stone to find deeper meaning in this world. This card comes at a time when you need to prepare yourself for this ne next stage in life. While the grief may be extremely hurtful, it enables you to forget your past and focus on your future, knowing that you have control over what actions you take afterwards. Don't dwell so much on what is troubling you, but instead focus on what is approaching, because you determine your fate. Now the love meaning. The imagery of this card is plain and simple. Heartbreak is to come. And this, uh, this is likely to be a time in your life of tears, sadness, and heartbreak. I'm sorry to say, if you're in a relationship, this can sometimes point to a breakup, a conflict, or some kind of separation. In the worst case scenario, since this card is a three, it can also point to a third party creating trouble in your relationship. You and your partner may have to face difficult problems in order to remain together. Without clear and respectful discussions, and a willingness to work together, the relationship can reach its end. If you're single, it may be that past grief and suffering is affecting your ability to date. Past wounds have not yet healed, and it's important to give yourself time before you attempt to find love again. Now, career. Work can be a great source of stress, frustration, and sadness for you right now. At worst, it can point to a sudden job loss or collapse of a company. More commonly, it can signal some kind of conflict at work amongst clients and colleagues. If you're dealing with this, make sure that you have honest and open conversations with your coworkers while keeping things respectful. There's likely a lot that you have to learn from one another. If you're looking for work or have just lost your job, the search right now can leave you hopeless. Don't be disheartened. If you can afford it, take the time to recover from this period of anguish. It may prove you, it may provide you a more positive mindset for your job search. And now financially. You may be dealing with a material loss right now, or at least something in your financial life causing you a lot of stress. A breakup has both emotional and financial consequences. You may no longer be able to afford your apartment alone, or you may have to split your assets in a divorce. All these things can be overwhelming now. Make sure to be gentle with yourself, but also not to avoid taking care of these things. Find support. You can make it through. You know, really, this is a dark and complex card. But, uh, yeah, it's not a card that most people want to see. 
It could indicate lies, cheating, betrayal, or just heartbreak in general. Uh, it also indicates emotional entanglement and confusion. So don't try to make any decisions while you're in this state. It's a good time. It's best now just to wait and let your heart and spirit mend. All right. Sorry, I don't have a second segment set up today. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to get back with you all. Let you know I'm feeling better. Still not great, but better. So may you all have a blessed Monday. Peace. Believe. And bye-bye.